Section 11, Road and Traffic Signs. Now this is definitely not the best section for doing as an audio only. So it shouldn't really be taken too seriously without the book. You should be re re referring to the book or just use this as a top up. How can you identify traffic signs that give orders? They're circular with a red border. Traffic signs giving orders are generally which shape? So repetitive, but yes, we've just said they're circular with a red border. Which type of sign tells you not to do something? Again, it's the circular with a red border. What does this sign mean? And we've got circular with a red border, sign with a 20 inside, and underneath says zone, and underneath that, insert place name. And that means maximum speed limit with traffic calming which sign means no motor vehicles are allowed and this is the circular border red border sign and it's got a car with a motorcycle above it which obviously means no motor vehicles are allowed what does this sign mean and it's the red circular border again with a 30 in it underneath it shows you the faded tw the equivalent of the 20 sign with a cross through it and it says zone ends so that means end of 20 mile an hour zone. What does this sign mean? It's a red circular, circular border and it's the what we've just said, a car with a motorcycle above it, which means no motor vehicles. So you can see the th they've themed it very repetitively in this book. What does this sign mean? It's a solid red circular sign with a white horizontal stripe through it no entry you should know that by now what does this sign mean it's a red circular border and it's got a uh, diagonal red stripe through it meaning obviously you, it means no something x and this shows a road that's going straight forward and then turning right so that means no right turn which sign means no entry and we've got what we've just discussed the solid red circular sign with a white stripe through it means no entry what does this sign mean it's a solid blue sign with a tram inside it and underneath it says only so that's route for trams only and then it says which type of vehicle does this sign apply to and the sign is a red circular bordered sign again and it has 4.4 meters in it or 14 foot 6 and we've got a little arrow at the top pointing down and a little arrow at the bottom pointing up so this applies to high vehicles and it's restricting the height which sign means no motor vehicles allowed we've already done this it's the car and the motorcycle inside the red circular border what does this sign mean? Red circular border with a black car on the left, red car on the right. It's no overtake, uh, no overtaking. So quite intuitive. What does this sign mean? Um, it's the red circular border with a red diagonal stripe through it and a blue solid inside, which means waiting restrictions apply. What does this sign mean? It's the actual faded version of that sign. Uh, on a white background with a cross through it and underneath says zone ends so that means end of restricted parking area which sign means no stopping well the sign that means no stopping is the double um, cross equivalent of the waiting restriction sign so this is a full cross on a blue background with a red circular border and I'm repeating this and the next one says you see this sign ahead what does it mean it is that same red cross sign on a blue background with a red circular border. No stopping. What does this sign mean? It's a blue square with a large white P and underneath it one mile. It means distance to parking place ahead. And what does this sign mean? A similar blue rectangular sign with a large white P underneath you have a car that's stood on what's supposed to be like a verge because this means vehicles may park fully on the verge of footway 
Now we've got, what does this traffic sign mean? It's a red circular border again, a small red arrow on the left going up, a larger black arrow on the right going down means give priority to oncoming traffic. What's the meaning of this traffic sign? It's a blue rectangular sign and we've got a large white arrow going up on the left and a smaller red arrow going down on the right. So this says you, you have priority over vehicles coming towards you. What shape is a stop sign at a junction? And this is the eight-sided octagonal shape um, on a red background. So next, referring to that, we have a, at a junction, you see this sign partly covered by snow. What does it mean? It's the eight-sided sign again. So you don't actually have to see what's under the snow that's covering it because it means stop because of the shape. What does this sign mean? It's a blue circular um, flat blue background with a white 30 on it means minimum speed 30 miles per hour. What does this sign mean? Again a, a flat solid blue sign with two white arrows pointing downwards diagonally means pass either side to get to the same destination. What does this sign mean? It's a blue flat sign again circular sign with a tram on it and underneath says only which so it means route for trams. And then it says, what does a circular traffic sign with a blue background do? Well, you should have told us that before, shouldn't you? It's give an instruction. Where would you see a contraflow bus and cycle lane on a one-way street? What does this sign mean? So we've got a longer horizontal blue rectangle sign. On the left, there's a blue square with two white arrows going up. And on the right, we have a bus and a white arrow under it pointing down. That's a contraflow bus lane. What does a sign with a brown background show? Tourist directions. So after that, they ask, what does this sign mean? And we've got the same brown tourist direction sign with a train on it. It means tourist attraction. What are triangular signs for? To give warnings. What does this sign mean? It's the triangular warning sign. And you've got a black T-junction within the sign. So it's T-junction, warning of a T-junction. What does this sign mean? A red triangle sign with an sn icy snowflake inside means risk of ice. What does this sign mean? It's a red triangle with a crossroads inside it so it's warning you of a crossroads what does this sign mean a red triangle and it's got a roundabout inside it warning you of a roundabout what information will be shown in a triangular road sign um, and you've got some options and road narrows is the one in this question warning you of the road narrowing what does this sign mean it's a red triangle with a bicycle in it it's a cycle route ahead which sign means that pedestrians may be walking along the road? It's the adult and the child within the triangle. Which of th these signs means there's a double bend ahead? And it's sort of obvious it's the uh, red triangle again and inside is a double bend represented as a doubly bent road. What does this sign mean? It's a bit more complicated. Uh, red and white cross at the top. Underneath you've got a give way sign and underneath that is a tram so it means give way to trams. What does this sign mean? It's a red triangle with a uh, what you should know by now is humps in the road. It's a little hump on a black flat. Not to be confused with a hump bridge. So which of these signs means the end of a dual carriageway and that is the red triangle with two roads going upwards that merge into one. And so they ask again, what does this sign mean? The same sign, two roads merging into one, going vertically up in a red triangle. It's end of dual carriageway. What does this sign mean? A red triangle with a windsock in it means side winds. What does this traffic sign mean? It's an exclamation mark inside a red triangle. That's danger ahead. You're about to overtake. What should you do when you see this sign? Exclamation mark in a red triangle. And underneath it says hidden dip. Hold back until you can see clearly ahead. 
what does this sign mean? It's a, a gate or barrier within the red triangle, so it means level crossing with gate or barrier. What does this sign mean? It's a tram inside a red triangle, means trams crossing ahead. What does this sign mean? And this is a red triangle with a, um, a black gradient of 10% on it, so it's going downwards to the right, which means steep hill downwards. What does this sign mean? It's a red triangle with Ford inside, written inside, which means water across the road. And then finally for this part of this section, what does this sign mean? It's a blue square sign with a white road going up on the right and a, um, to the left diagonally, a red, white road going off. Blocked with a red block means no through road on the left. I'm just going to end that part of that section because it's quite long.